Hey, ladies and gentlemen, how are we today? I really hope you're doing what you can to stay strong throughout these tough times. But of course, we are back again with another freaking video. And believe me, for this video, you're gonna need your strength. Why? Because I needed my strength for this video. Now we're gonna talk about Stella freaking Williams. We've spoken, we have speak, we have spoken about her before. Some of us stands aren't always happy with what I gotta say, but you know what, ladies and gentlemen, I had someone reach out to me. And they sent me a video that they made personally, okay? This is the video itself in particular. And I'm going to link you the, I'm going to link this video itself in the description. Because I really believe it's worth you watching. And um, I'll be honest with you, I didn't even have an opportunity to finish all of it because it was difficult. It was difficult, difficult to watch, you know? And the reason being is because something that I always talk about when it comes to holding people accountable is always talking about how how influencers don't realize how much influence or not even don't realize how influencers don't care about how much they're influencing other people when they're on YouTube talking whatever they're talking about, claiming to have whatever they're claiming to have. And Stella Williams is one of those people that I've called out several times. And it's interesting because um there's been two different occasions where Obese the Beast has called her out, okay, or or he at least made a video about her. And she's done whatever she can possible to make sure that she responded to those videos. Probably because he's a bigger YouTuber, so therefore there's clout around it, which I can respect. You know what I'm saying? The hustle is the hustle, right? Will she ever, should she ever come and, I mean, has she ever seen my videos? I don't know. Will she, if she has, she's obviously chosen to not react to them. Probably because I'm a small YouTuber, which is fine. I get it. You know what I'm saying? The hustle is the hustle. But you know what? I had already planned to make this video. But just before I decided to plan this video, this was sent to me, you know, and it made what I'm about to say here. It made my case against Stella William so much more stronger than I thought it would be. Now, let's talk about Stella Williams when it comes to her diagnosis. This is a woman that has, you know what? Listen, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you something. Let me not let me not speak real quick. Let me show you something real quick. OK, Stella Williams did her own reaction to Obese the Beast because Obese the Beast done another video on her, okay? And he said what he said. And listen, ladies and gentlemen, I said it before in an Amber Lynn Reed video about how I don't really find it fitting for Obese the Beast sometimes to make reactions on certain people. Reason being is because when he makes a reaction, he doesn't react to the mental side of this person, the psychology part of this human being. And when you're not reacting to the psychological part of this human being, you are then going to be giving them excuses for them to use to their own advantage. That's something that I said before when it came to the Amberlynn Reed video, when he made a video about her, he made not one, but he made two videos about her. And in both of them, he said that he's, he doesn't follow him that much, which bothers me because then when he makes the videos about these women, even though his information is correct or his information is good, it doesn't relate to these women per se. Because this information is information that these women already know and they already use to their advantage to influence others in the wrong way or to at least make people believe things. But listen, let me go back a bit. I want you to listen to what Stella Williams has to say in this video. Things, I feel like he could be really harsh. Uh, so I watched like a minute of it and then asked if people would even be interested in a response. Everyone to be honest with you, in this video, she claims she hasn't seen the video yet. I think that's BS. Yes, so the, here is where we are today. But I'm Googling right now Obese Beast's real name because I don't feel like that's on his birth certificate. John. So we're now, gonna we're not going to watch all of this video. Videos. We're not going to watch all of it, by the way. It's more respectful for me. This video that we're going to be responding to today is called Stella Williams Can't Lose Weight on the Internet. My thoughts, which is interesting because I never said I couldn't. So I'm interested to see what he got out of my video. Scared to lose weight is on the It's funny, now. though. She says that she couldn't. But the thing is, though, dearie, <laughs> you made a vlogging channel called Hella Stella, right? Where she went back and forth, back and forth. And on that channel itself in particular, she kept coming up with new diagnosis of a diagnosis of a diagnosis. Now, I'm not saying she's lying per se, but each time you say you got this diagnosis and you got this diagnosis, you're influencing other people who actually have those diagnosis to look at you and say, I wonder how you're going to deal with it, which relates to this video itself in question. This video itself is based on someone who has diagnosis, who then went to YouTube to research people who also have the same diagnosis to see what they got to say. And I've got to say, the first four minutes of that video, the interesting story she tells me is, what tells all of us is, whew, trust me, check it out. 
and which is pretty accurate <laughs> for various reasons. Um, but then also, it, uh, Birkin, it's not playtime, boo. Also, it's 30 minutes long, so I'm gonna do the worst thing you could do to any YouTuber, and I'm gonna be watching this at one. You know, I've... you know what? One thing that I love about Tiffany Sherry is that she likes to point out people's pe people's um, phrases, the things that she's, the things that they say, their body language, you know. And some of the things, and, and how manipulative they are. If we go back to that manipulative video that was made by Tiffany Sherry at that time, we can relate this. That there were, and many of the points that she said there, if you haven't seen it, go check it out. And if you relate properly to it, if you listen to it properly and relate some of the things she says, a lot of those tactics are used by this woman. Yes, come at me if you are stand. But listen, she's endangering you. I don't know if that's the right word I want to use. But at the end of the day, she, whatever, man, let's go, man. <laughs> speed sorry <laughs> i'm not gonna react to when he actually is watching my video because obviously i was there i made it so i really just want to get his response see what's up i've heard mixed things i feel like he could be really harsh i've heard that his followers can be really harsh if you're from the. she heard this but the thing is though in this video she admits that he made a video of her in, in, in a prior um so wh wh why are you telling us what you heard you've seen him make a video of you beforehand Channel. I've gotten some positive comments which really made me want to watch this video because a lot of people who came from his channel really supportive So I'm assuming he's not trashing me now he remember is, I guess, here we are. she said supportive So she's looking for someone who's going to give information that is supportive She doesn't want to want to trash her why because she doesn't want to be called out For her potential listen to what I say and not what you think I'm saying but for her potential BS Or maybe they just wanted to offer support Let's get into it, but before we do, I hope you had a wonderful Valentine's Day. That's all. Okay, so let's get into it. Today, we are actually going to be, this is actually a little bit of a, almost an update video, which I'm not sure how many, I'm not sure how many of you guys saw the, the previous video where we talked about this uh, young lady, uh, but this is um, a video where we're going to be talking about Stella Williams, who she made a video, I think it was in like November, it was, it was sometime last year, where she was kind of talking about how she wanted to start losing weight and she had um, some issues that were related to her weight loss, but then she was kind of worried about sharing those thoughts because she was afraid because uh, a lot of her persona online was being a plus size person and, and was being a plus size person. Thank you. That was the whole thing. And so she actually recently made a video um, where, I mean, you guys will see right here, the title of it is My Secret Weight Loss. Um, and then I'm assuming, I watched a little bit of this. And that um, video is of alone, I did do my own reaction to it, if you haven't seen it, by the way. Surprisingly, a lot of you guys came back with positive uh, remarks. <laughs> but I think that it could be a really interesting, uh, a really interesting, a really interesting topic. So without further ado, Stella, take it away. That's what's so interesting to me is like, I make these videos not expecting anyone to watch them but my followers. So when they end up in the hands of like obese to beast, you're like... Oh, shit. Well, <laughs> then, again, that's a lie because you know Obese to Beast has made a video about you in the past. She does state that in this video. So, I mean, just this obviously has nothing to do with the weight loss. This is something that's true with a lot of people, and I think I wish more people would talk about this. I feel like I bring it up quite a bit, especially if you're here with the streams. I talk about how I'm definitely not perfect and I have my issues. Um, but with like influencers, a lot of people are afraid to talk about the bad. Now, one thing I do want to bring up, and I feel like this is something that I know a lot of people are going to disagree with me about. Um, a lot of people that might be my contemporaries or whatever. Um, I definitely feel bad for anyone. This is men and women, but sadly, it definitely affects women more. For any overweight woman online, because if they talk about anything related to their health at all, everyone is going to say, well, you just need to lose weight. And that isn't helpful. You know? And so I definitely, I definitely, definitely feel bad. I don't want to say feel bad. It's not like I have pity, but like, I definitely can understand feeling scared or afraid or apprehensive to speak up about any medical issue, regardless of if you're healthy at every size or not, right? Regardless of that, because you're afraid there's just going to be a bunch of people being like, well, you just need to lose weight. It's just like, dude, how is that helpful, man? A note off of that is I've actually become so jaded to the you need to lose weight comments because I've been getting them since I started YouTube back in 2017. I really started in 2016, but I say 2017 because that's when everything took off back then. There were no real issues that I was aware of. So other than being overweight, I remember just... there was no real issues that she was aware of back then other than being overweight. But all of a sudden time goes by and we're getting a diagnosis after a diagnosis of a diagnosis. I like blocked out those comments because that was what was best for me, especially when no one literally asked. I do feel like it's harder for women, but I feel like it's harder remember, for Remember blocking out comments that she doesn't want to hear. For creators who are in my position, who are bigger and who are celebrating their bodies to have to go through a change, whether they want to or medically need to. And I think for me, it's kind of like, I wish there weren't these underlying conditions that were like, hey, you gotta lose weight. I had to stop and really ask myself if I knew my health conditions were gonna happen before. I got diagnosed with them. Would I have lost weight? And I try not to do that because you don't know. You can never go back in time and know. Attack me if you want. Converting. Well, I still believe you can be healthy at any size. I believe you can be my weight and have no issues other than being overweight, according to a doctor, right? Can you be healthy at every size? Or is the fat and the inflammation in your body just a ticking time bomb until something's uncovered or something happens to you? And that's like this new conflict I have. Was I so jaded all these years? You know, it's interesting. Conflict is a word that she uses multiple times. This is a new conflict that I have. Conflict after conflict after conflict under conflict. Let's keep it real. You don't want to lose weight. In fact, slowing the fact that she doesn't want to lose weight, she can't be bothered. 
And she keeps telling the same story of again and again and again. Now, let me tell you about Hella Stella, the channel that she had that she took down. Hella Stella was a channel that she had that was her vlogging channel. And not only was it her vlogging channel, it was also the channel that she had where she spoke about her weight gain, her weight loss, being a vegan, not being a vegan, up and down, up and down, getting a reading from her mom, which is very, you know, whatever, going live after live. That's what it was about, right? So she deletes that channel. Now, let's forget about why she deleted that channel. Actually, no, no, let's talk about it. She deleted that channel because she just didn't want to do that kind of stuff anymore. She wanted to focus on one purpose and one purpose only. Well, ladies and gentlemen, little do you know, little do you know, Stella Williams, pay attention carefully, has made another channel. Look where my head is. Today was tough. What is the name of that channel? Stella Williams Vlogs. Look above my head. What do you see? Stella Williams. Two different amounts of different subscribers, both the same person. So how do you go from deleting one channel called Hella Stella because you don't want to do it anymore, blah, 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 blah. And then all of a sudden, what, a week, two weeks, three weeks, a month later, you go and make another one? For what purpose? So is it because so you can start fresh? So you can rebrand yourself again and start a whole new weight loss journey again? So therefore, people may not be able to pull you up for what you did in the past? Or because you're always talking about diagnosis after diagnosis after diagnosis. Listen, end of the day, I don't want to be the person that looks at the bad person because I'm trying to call someone out for potentially faking their diagnosis but the matter of fact is though how are we supposed to support someone continuously who repeatedly 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 says hey guys yeah i want to lose weight uh but then i went to the doctors and they told me that i had this diagnosis oh yeah sorry guys i went back i went back again and this time i've now got another one and then another one and this is where you affect people like this and you know what? I want to say thank you so much for reaching out to me. Honestly, honestly, honestly. Now, listen, let's just go over to this channel itself in particular. Stella Williams Vlogs. Watch carefully. Watch the space. Let's go to this part. What is what some of the videos? I tried working out in the morning. Oh, look at that. We're back to making videos about working out again. But then all of a sudden, we had a tough day. Now, listen, don't get me wrong. The tough day video itself doesn't necessarily relate per se to her weight. But you get the gif of what I'm trying to, sh what I'm trying to tell you, ladies and gentlemen. Now, listen, let's talk about this video itself in particular. Now, remember, Obese to the Beast made two videos about it. This was the original one. This is the original one that he made about her five months ago, which she's very much aware of. So why she's acting as if Obese to the Beast is never reviewed it before is beyond me but of course like she said though i oh but i hear you know he does say positive things sometimes no wonder why we're here right now and this is the problem i have no issues against all the obese to beast i respect his grind i respect what he does but i feel like sometimes it doesn't matter what youtuber you are i don't care how big you are how small you are who you are but sometimes if you're going to make a review on someone particular in particular please 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 if you can try and do try and do like a try and do like at least a mini audit on them to kind of find out what is the pattern here before I give this person advice, I want to see where the pattern is of why they've been unable to lose weight. And therefore, when I make my videos, I can at least do my best to keep it as 100 as possible. But if I'm making a video where I'm generally giving back my feedback on general advice that I would generally do, to be honest with you, that is amazing. That is something that works. But at the same time, though, it doesn't always work for certain people like Stella Williams, Amberlynn Reed, people that have obviously been reviewed more than once by him anyway. You know what I mean? And therefore, we have the... And then we go here, Amberlynn Reed talk about about hey guys see i told you obese to beast agrees with me blah 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 blah, blah. stella williams goes and make a whole video and does the same thing as well it doesn't mean that, and, and listen trust me when i tell you none of this is necessarily obese to beast's fault i'm not saying that at all but at the end of the day some of these people on youtube okay are then taking advantage of someone that is generally trying to help them out because that's something that he that he but he's generally trying to help them out i respect that but because they're then trying to take what he's saying and use it to their own advantage is then another way of manipulating more and more people to continue following them believing that these people are going to change or they're going to get to a better stage especially when someone is coming out with diagnosis of the diagnosis of a diagnosis but then it's like okay how many times are you going to get a new diagnosis but you're still not going to lose weight now, listen, I get it. She spoke about how, you know, the weight situation, even though Beast the Beast talked to her, spoke about the whole weight situation, about how people come online and say, oh, you got to lose, lose weight. I understand that. I really, really do. But this is the thing, though. When you base your whole YouTube, not, not all of it, but when you create a new YouTube page, a new YouTube page and you're now, you're going from fashion and now you're talking more about your weight, the more you talk about your weight is the more that the consumer starts to take in that you are about the weight. So really and truly, you have created that scenario yourself for yourself let's not ignore that but listen ladies and gentlemen i want to show you something else very interesting this video right here eat with me five year youtube anniversary and as you can see she's got a nice juicy cake listen 
five years why not celebrate it but you know what's something that i that, that i found very interesting about this, this video itself in particular okay where are we right now in the world we are in covid covid means we are not necessarily meant to share foods with other people now she's got a big fat cake here okay ladies and gentlemen that looks rather freaking delicious man if i do so say myself i mean if it's if it's dairy free and vegan ain't you? i'm all about that life but obviously she takes a little a little chunk for herself fantastic why not have some yet you want to celebrate fantastic not judging you but this is a cake that you've consumed in your own home your dog has been near it but then she goes outside in her gym clothes which is very interesting anyway and uh she goes out and starts giving it away to people that she may or may not know but let me say something why would you cut up a cake why would you hold a cake first and foremost you haven't even got a mask on no gloves on you're not cutting up this cake then you're going to go out and give it to people who haven't even got their mask on neither. And bear in mind, your dog has been near it too. Okay. And then also, let me, let me, let me make you remind you, there's a part here as well where your dog is now touching other people as well. I mean, listen, we talk about Corona and listen, let's be honest. Let's keep it 100 real quick. Where does she live? In America. America just hit what number? Should I, do I need to tell you what number America just hit in deaths, in cases? No, I shouldn't, but you know what it is. Now, I'm not saying that she's caused all these people, but what I'm trying to say is that this is the problematic problem. And this is the thing, though, right, yeah? When I made a video on uh, pink, pink Sparkles, and I called her out for not for, for, go, for jumping on a plane to Mexico, coming back, and then going straight to Walmart without even putting on a face mask, no, sorry, without even self-isolating like she was supposed to, I called her out. You people all thought that. Fantastic. And whenever I've called anyone for this kind of situation, fantastic now if you're a stan don't tell me off of calling her out for the fact that she's out there giving away a cake to people when you shouldn't be sharing food with nobody when you're supposed to be in lockdown when you're supposed to be keeping safe when you're supposed to be self-isolating and on top of that your dog's being near the cake and now the dog's jumping on other people as well now don't get me wrong these other people are also accountable for their actions too let's not get it twisted but the problem is this it is now advertised on youtube so because it is now advertise on youtube it has to be held accountable for because that means you may be influencing other people to go out there and give cakes away to other people or any kind of food including your dog as well and this is the fundamentals and this is the problem that i have when it comes to stella williams in my opinion manipulative highly manipulative personally diagnosis do we need to have proof not necessarily no but it is very suspect for someone to have diagnosed other diagnosis at least a YouTube channel because of the pre for, well, for the reason that she said, right? Then remakes it again, but this time with a different name. For what purposes? I don't understand. What's that about? Do you see what I'm saying? Ladies and gentlemen, tell me, am I going, am, am, I, am, am I crazy? Do I not have a ground to stand on with what I'm trying to say to you right now? And then on top of that, uses another YouTuber to her own benefit to continue her excuses of why she's unable to lose weight or why she hasn't. And why she's got all these diagnoses. Lord of mercy, listen, ladies and gentlemen, end of the day, you can take the video, you can take my video however you want to take it, but I've said what I've said, and I'm only, say, I'm only saying it because I have to hold people accountable when I believe that what they're doing isn't proper, and most importantly, if it's influencing you, and you're caught up in all of this, and then you're starting to believe it's okay to do what she's doing, or it's okay to be this, this, and that, then whoa, I feel sorry for you, and I just want to try and open up your mind, really and truly really and truly especially especially if you are one of these people that has any of the diagnosis that she says that she has that has now prevented her or at least slowed her down from losing weight that seems to never be going anywhere why because she's not exercising she's not eating good she is not looking after her health only thing that she's caring about is looking after her bank account and you know what? God damn, man. Jesus. This bank account situation is getting my nerves. I won't lie to you, ladies and gentlemen. But nonetheless, though, nonetheless, though, you give me your opinion on what everything that I've got to say. I'm looking forward to it in the comment section. But listen, man, when we're here, we keep it real. And that's just the bottom line. And I'm not going to finish that because I'm not Stone Cold Steve Austin. <laughs> but we are done and we are out. Thank you so much for your time. Peace.